Hello everyone. Welcome to the orientation video for Applied Accounting Section 267. My name is Professor Reese and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. So currently I am on the Blackboard site. So when you log into the Blackboard site, look for our course, Applied Accounting Section 267. I'm currently under the Start Here menu tab on Blackboard. Here you have a brief overview of the course and some policies including information about the technology requirements for this course. Review all of that information. I'm going to go down to the Syllabus and Schedule tab next. So here you have a copy of the Syllabus that we're going to go through as well as the course outline indicating which chapter we're going to cover each week for the next eight weeks and, and then also we have the final week and it also shows the exams that we're going to cover and the weeks we're going to have those exams so I've already downloaded the course syllabus there's section information information about me, the instructor, how we're going to communicate in this class, a description of the course, the course outcomes. I'm going to stop here as required course materials. So the college accounting textbook for this class is College Accounting, a contemporary approach, fourth edition by Haddock, Price, and Farina. And you are required to have access to Micro, I'm sorry, McGraw Hill Connect for this course. So if you purchase a brand new textbook, it does come with the access code for McGraw Hill Connect, or you have the option of purchasing just the access code, which comes with an ebook. You're not required to purchase a copy of the hard of the hard book. So if you get a used copy of the textbook. You are still required to purchase an access code as well. And we'll talk more about the access code in a few minutes. Information about required from a technology standpoint. This is an online course using the internet. So all your quizzes, exams, assignments, course projects will all be administered through the various um, internet sites. So for your quizzes, exam, assignments will be submitted through for Broad Hill Connect. You have an introduction blog and a course project that will be submitted via the Blackboard website. This is showing you how you're going to accumulate points for the semester. This is showing how many points you must earn in order to get a certain letter grade within the course. Okay? Attendance. This is an online course. For an online course, attendance is verified by the completion of an assignment. So each week you're going to have to commit or have to complete several assignments. Each student that does not complete at least one required assignment within the first two weeks of the semester may be withdrawn from the course for non-attendance. So perhaps you're logging in to the Blackboard site but you're not doing any of the quizzes, homework, etc. You must complete at least one assignment per week in order to be considered present for that particular week. Okay? So take some time to review in its entirety the entire syllabus. Here we have the course outline. It is showing which chapter you're going to cover during each week of the semester. We're going to cover chapters one and two this first week. Your first exam will take place in week two over chapters one, two, and three. And we'll talk more about the exams as well. So again, be sure to review the entire syllabus and review all of that information. I want to click next in Blackboard on the McGraw-Hill Connect tab. The first information shows you how you're going to access Connect. So once you log to the Blackboard site, you're going to click this link here that says McGraw-Hill Connect. And once you click on this link, 
they go to where it says go to my connect section. So let's just do that. So I want to click here. You're going to click where it says go to my connect section. Now, when you all click on this link, it's going to take you through the registration process because I'm registered already. When I click on this link, it will take me directly to the Black Books, to the uh, McGraw Hill Connect site. So this is the Connect site. So once you have registered, you're going to see all of the assignments out there on the Connect site. Once you're registered, again, there is an ebook that you can utilize by using the access code. There's a loose leaf that if you rather have a hard copy that you can also purchase via the Connect website as well. But this will show you the, the different assignments that are going to be due, the due date for those assignments. And I'll talk more about those in a few minutes as well. So it's very important. Every student in this course must obtain access to the McGraw-Hill Connect site, okay? I'll go back to Blackboard now. Now, all your information will be under where it says Weekly Modules. So this is where you're gonna go for your assignments. Click on the tab where it says Weekly Modules. For each week, it will indicate what we're gonna cover that week, which chapters, for we're doing chapter one and chapter two for the first week. It will tell you the assignments you must complete by the end of that first week. So you're going to have quizzes on chapter one and chapter two, chapter one and two homework, and there's an introduction block. These assignments must be completed by October 21st at 11 p.m. And you can earn up to 62 points by completing all the assignments for this first week. I'm going to click on the actual module, see what's inside of the information. Here you have an introduction block you need to complete. This will allow me, the instructor, and your classmates to get to know who's in the class. So you will just answer these simple questions about yourself and submit this post via the Blackboard site. For chapter one, there's chapter one lecture notes in a PowerPoint format as well as a Word document format. The first chapter is more of a historical type of chapter. It describes who is, what is accounting, use of accounting information, careers in the accounting field, different areas of accounting. It talks about the accounting rules and guidelines, the different types of business structures. So the first chapter is really, uh, again, more an informational chapter. We don't start crunching numbers until we get into chapter two. So here is your chapter one homework. So I'm going to go back here. So you click on this link in Blackboard. So this is a what we call a Blackboard Integrated Connect course, meaning that you will log on to Blackboard to complete all of your assignments. When I click on this chapter one homework, it will take me to the actual Connect site. And I see that one student has already started working on homework. Very good. So once you have registered for Connect, you will do everything through the Blackboard site. So once again, excuse me, for our first chapter, your chapter one homework, chapter one quiz, you will click on these links and that will take you to the actual Connect site to complete those assignments. Now, beginning in chapter two, and I'm going to reorder this. I'm going to reorder right now, as a matter of fact. Beginning in chapter two, now we're going to get into the actual accounting cycle, learning how to record different types of business transactions. So, except for chapter one, because again, it was just more informational, you're going to have video lectures out there for each chapter where you're going to see me actually working out different problems and you review these video lectures for each chapter there's also another powerpoint as well as you have the microsoft word lecture notes as well oh i got some more out there so you're going to again review all of these different videos for the 
chapter two lectures. Watch review all that information. I got another one. Okay, I'll get together in a few minutes. There we go. That should be it, right? Yes, it. Okay. So once reviewed all of the information for the video lectures, you will complete your chapter two homework as well as your chapter two quiz. So again, inside of these weekly modules, the outside will indicate what's going to be due for each week. When you click on the actual modules. Again, you're going to have video lectures out there for every chapter as well as your homework assignment and your quiz assignment. Notice that your first exam, which you hear more about, will take place in week two. There is a practice exam already on the Blackboard website with the type of questions that you're going to see on the actual exam. Okay? So make sure you click on these other tabs out here on the Blackboard site to get additional information about the course. There is information about me as your instructor out there. I give you a brief introduction so you can know more about who's teaching the course. There are some accounting templates. So when we get time, when we start actually doing the accounting work and you're doing things such as journal entries, ledgers, etc. You can use these templates in order to do the actual work and practice. So your main focus, again, is going to be the weekly modules because whatever information is due for each week, you're going to find those resources under your weekly modules tab. So again, take time to review your syllabus. Go to the Blackboard site, your first assignment, is to register for McGraw Hill Connect. Forgot to mention, the access code, of course, does come with a fee. However, there is a two week grace period to use McGraw Hill Connect free of charge. So if you don't have the money right now, you're waiting for a financial aid or a book account, whatever the case might be, you have a two week grace period to use the McGraw Hill Connect access free of charge after that two week period has expired you're required to purchase an access code or you will lose at that point the right to use the McGraw Hill Connect software okay let's get ready for an exciting semester you will hear from me often be sure to check the blackboard site a minimum of every 48 hours to see what type of change information is put on the Blackboard site. Um, any announcements that I post to the Blackboard site, these announcements will also be sent to your stlcc.edu issued email address. Okay? With that being said, farewell for now. I'll hear from you. you hear from me soon.